Global Geeks, and here I am at the Ubuntu booth at MWC, and I have my hands on two new um, Ubuntu phones. So these are actually two phones that are going to be coming to market. They're not quite the final version, but we're getting a kind of early hands-on. So this is the BQ Aqueous, and there's actually no build on here. And the final design might change, but this is essentially the smartphone that BQ is going to be coming out with. And the other manufacturer is Meizu. If you don't know about Meizu, you you, did, you should. Meizu makes amazing hardware. They're a Chinese manufacturer. This is the MX3. And so this is actually going to be coming to market, but uh, it doesn't have the latest build of Ubuntu that it's going to be shipping with. So we actually have a Nexus 5 over here that is going to be running the hardware that we found on, on the Meizu phone. Right, just, just to give you a quick walk around this one. But again, uh, the final build might change. I like the software is old, so the hardware might also change. So let's let's just give you a quick a quick look at, at Ubuntu. So if we have this here, we can slide in from the one side to check out our application, or we can have our kind of quick charm bar over there. We're just gonna we're gonna go straight in. And oh, I have a I have a calendar up, but what I can do is I can kind of swipe over, and then I can see my scope. Oops. Right, so these are actually open applications down here, are all my apps. Uh, this isn't quite online yet, so uh, the cool thing about it is that this is this operating system is is, is attracted to carriers because they're trying to kind of break free a little bit of what is going on with Google and the App Store and everything like that. So carriers kind of like it. So if this phone had better connectivity, you could see apps down here that were also available for download. So you can pull in. So their app store is kind of app store agnostic, right? So if you had Sony's app store and, you know, or Amazon's app store, it doesn't really matter where you're buying the apps from. So that, that's kind of one of the interesting things. So we keep on going. There's our music scope. You can go down, you can play all your music. This kind of goes over. Then you have a charm bar from over here. Uh, one of the features that I do like is when you pull down the notification, oh, let's try that again. When you pull down the notification bar, you see that you can slide back and forth, right? So it's definitely, no, sorry, sir. No, sorry, sir. I'm defending them in the, right in the video. My phones. <laughs> yeah, so you can actually see in the video that you can slide back and forth. So this is actually going to be the final build that ships on the Meizu M3 that's going to be coming out sometime soon. So this is just a quick look at the new hardware that's available. That's going to be available from Ubuntu. So open source actually making it into the ecosystem. I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks taking a look at new hardware. Hey.